like I said, AHS is a giant bureaucracy and necessarily treats people like they're human resources, like they're they're cogs in a in a machine, like they're they're pawns, and you know that that results in up to uh, at one point during the pandemic there was I, I heard up to seventy percent of full time paramedics off at any given time on stress leave. Now you'll never see these numbers published. AHS doesn't want to make them. What they will publish is that we hired more paramedics, and so now staffing levels are up eleven point two percent. But when only half your ambulances are manned, despite your staffing levels being at an all-time high, it tells a different story. And, and so what would happen is you'd have half the ambulances on in Edmonton that you would normally have because these staff are just burnt out from the system. And all the, the contract providers, the surrounding uh, fire department municipality services would we, we would spend most of our shift in Edmonton doing calls downtown, dealing with uh, drug addicts and, and marginalized people and all, all the calls that come with that big city. So, um, so, but if you looked at it, the calls were getting responded to, to. Yes, there were code reds where there were times where there weren't ambulances available, but had you not had those contract providers around the metro area being sucked in, you would have seen very quickly what a catastrophe those metro areas were in the terms of their state of health care. And then once you get to the hospital, yes, we were being used as hallway nurses. Uh, that took takes the load off uh, an already stressed emerge. So we're muddling through, uh, you know, altogether, but we were never seeing very clearly where the system is failing, right? You can become a Western Standard member for just $10 a month or $99 a year for unlimited access.